hello and welcome to the stream. Hello, Bob and Joy and Star. I saw your early hello, so hello to you too if you're going to watch this VOD. But welcome to yet another episode of Chat Plays. As you remember, last Monday we did Stanley Parable and you guys made the decisions. But today we have a whole new game for you guys to do. It's brand new. This game is still in beta. People are still working on it. But it looks really fun. Joy and I tested it out last night. Make sure it picks it up here. Opening. Uh, it pulled it up earlier. I don't know where it is now. Hello? Yeah, let's see if I can get it to actually pull it up now. Yeah, I saw the collabing with Porsche. Why is it not pulling it up now? the heck? So weird. Why is it not pulling it up now? Hmm. Ah, okay, so this other one pulled it up. This pulled it up. Uh, crickets are in the game, that's why. Oh my! Am I close? Where's that screen? Oh. What is going on? Give me a second. I don't know why it's not working. Literally just worked for me when I tested it right before stream. Deck Navit, hang on. I even tested it and everything and it worked fine. Let's try this this way then. Yeah, we're going to try it this way. We're going to see if this works. Be giving me an issue. Capture specific window. window. Okay, this is actually kind of getting on my nerves. Mike, going on here? Yeah, 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 Joy. Why? It literally just worked. Is it not it up now? Hold up, we're going to try just deleting this and doing it. Add. No, what the world? Move. First one, I, 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 guys, I don't know what is happening. Ah, oh, wait. I'm buried, but it's here. I fixed it. 
Yeah, we fixed it. Hang on. Got to unbury myself. Eh. Eh. At long last, chat. You have visual. All right, chat, we did it. We do need some music, though, because this game is actually quiet, because I completely forgot about that, how quiet this game is. Let's go get some music turned on, show. What type of music should we get, guys? Any opinions? Any opinions for music? Got some music. It captures my whole display. I forgot about that, but it's fine. Do you guys? Here's your, here's your list of music. I have access to all this stuff. Lauren says jazz. Uh, let's just start off with. Shall we just go for the popular tracks? Popular instrumental tracks. Does that sound good? No one's responding in chat the second, so is it worth Okay, there we go. We did get rid of my game audio though, which is funny. Where'd that go? All right, audio working, we good? Joy, Bob, you here? Lauren, can you hear the stream? Okay, all right, finally, after some technical errors, we are here. All right, so the whole point of this game is you need to convince AI to let you in. Lauren, chat to me. I cannot tell anything. Bob and Joy went silent, which is... That might just be quiet, though. Okay, this worked. Alright, while I wait for people to come, then I guess I should by myself. But, premise is, if you can see in the top right, there are... Th this music. What the frick is this music? Ah! Cut down. Uh, do I want to make it too loud so we can all right so yes there are 31 houses and you have to convince every single house to get, let them let you inside did I actually post this court announcement I think I I did okay Good morning. Kind of all over the place. But yeah, and also, as you can see in the background, we have been moving. So our background shelf has been packed up badly. But yeah, so this is going to be this week and then next week of streams. And then the week after, there will be no more streams for a week. But we shall begin. Right. And there's also random outfits. You All right, so I guess we can start with yellow house by wait for people to go up. This. They're actually just low. Begin. Hmm. Well, not that yo, bad. Oh, it's, why is this guy too? Oh my gosh, Joy. All right, yo, what's good, my G? You out here looking like you' about to build a whole kingdom with that gear? How can I help you, fam? Uh, what would you like to say exactly? What do you mean, flirt your way into their home? 
How do we compliment this man? Hey, my dude, you're looking really good today. Appreciate the love, my dude. You know, I always got to stay fresh. What brings you to my block today? All right. What? Say you like his man bun? Dude, I just, I really like your man bun, too. Dude. Uh, uh-huh. Thanks, bro. Got to keep it stylish, you know? But enough about me. What's this tea? Uh, what's the tea on this construction gig you got going on? All right, guys. What are we doing in construction? Because we picked up a construction hat and outfit he's asking us about now what we do for a living any ideas what do we do what are we building that will let this guy let us into the house hmm we are replacing your roof right uh, yeah, so I'm here to just help you fix your roof. I heard there was a leak going on, and we just want to make sure you didn't get completely drenched. Hello. How are Hello. you doing? Oh, snap. You heard right. Appreciate the heads up, man. Come on in, and let's get this leak sorted out. I'll show you where the damage is. Bob, that was clutch. Oh, your dad says hello. Hi. This fool. <laughs> fool! There is no leak. The only leak will be in your skin! We have now become him. Alright guys, we have now become him. If we see different costumes, we can switch it out, but we are now DJ Kid. Alright, we're gonna systematically clear the houses. Also, there are cops, so you need to be careful. If they spot you, get arrested. So we're going to clear that house, we're going to clear this house, we're going to zigzag our way up and clear all 31 together. I know, I said hello. I said hello to you first, and I told him, I told Lauren that you said hello after, but I'm sorry if you didn't hear me, but hello. Alright, here we go. Next house. Oh, uh, we're doing good. All right, so Grandma Maud. Hello there, little swipe. How lovely to see you on this fine evening. What brings you to my humble abode? All right, what brings us to Grandma Maud's house? She thinks we're little swipe. Or you can answer too. We're also well. Tell her an album. Hey, what's happening, Grandma Mout? I, I just made this new mix track, and I really was wondering if you listened to it and give me your opinions. Uh -huh. Oh my, uh -huh. a mix track, you say? Well, isn't that nice? I'm afraid my musical taste hasn't quite caught up with the times, dearie, but I wish you the best of luck with it. All right, chat. How do we come back from this? Grandma Mout says her musical tastes aren't quite up to par with ours. Yeah, now there's music. My friend, music started. How are we gonna convince Grim? Odd. Cookie. It's actually based on music from the 1700s and Cookie. I'll combine both. Actually, this music track is based off music from the 1700s. Plus, if you listen to it now, I'll throw in a free cookie. Music from the 1700s, you say? How intriguing. And a free cookie, too? Well, I can't resist a sweet treat. Go ahead and play your track, my dear, and let's see what you've got. Begins to play track, and Grandma Mouth loves it. Oh, my stars! That was positively delightful, dearie. Your talent is simply astounding. Please do come in and let's chat some more. I'm sure there's more to learn from talented young musicians like yourself. Oh, this poor, frail old lady. 
<laughs> there is no music, only violence! Where are my knitting needles? They are now, old lady. Alright, so we can combine costumes too. <laughs> what a great singer. Uh, okay, so let's do old lady with headphones and a speaker backpack. Yeah, we're a hip old lady. Like this outfit? Oh yeah, I like that. What about this? What about this? What about this? A good outfit. We like this outfit. I think it's pretty good. Can I open the garage? I can't. You look transgender. <laughs> listen, listen, it's fine. All right. Oh, we gotta be careful of that cop. He sees us recovering. Oh. No, 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 no. He's right behind us. Ah! Okay, so we lost our clothes. But we gained uh, some delivery gear. Okay, is there any actual clothes back here? Wear a lantern. Okay, we'll use the lantern. Wait, clothes. Excellent. Okay, I'm not sure how you guys want to spin this, but uh, wear a canteen, wear a map. Let's wear a map. That looks more reasonable. I'm a door dasher? Alright, got it. Oh, it's this dude. Joy knows this guy. Joy knows Bud. Hey there, fellow Green Thumb. What brings you to my humble abode in this wild hour of the night? Uh, I got a DoorDash order for Bud. Hmm, DoorDash, huh? I don't remember ordering anything. Are you sure you've got the right address? Well, you see, sir, my map points right here. So, uh, yes, it's a certain suspicious package for uh, a Mr. Bud. Oh, uh, uh, there must be some sort of mistake. I didn't order anything. Sorry, have a good night. Oh, dang it, DoorDasher didn't work. Someone ordered it for you. Ah, okay, I'll go back and try that. We'll try that again. Here we go. We'll try that. Wait, we can just carry some wood. Okay, I have a plan. Okay, well, actually, what, guys, we, this might actually work. Hold up. I have a concept. Do you guys think we could convince this man that we are his plants come to life? Do you guys think we could convince him we are his plants come to life? I think there's a ch I think there's a slim chance we could convince this man. He doesn't seem the brightest. It'll work? Yes? Alright, here we go. Hey man, what's growing? Master. Papa. We are your plants that have come to life. We seek your wisdom. Whoa, that's some trippy talk, man. I'm just a regular gardener, but I'm happy to share some gardening wisdom with you. What can I help you with? Papa, we need guidance. We just came to life and don't know our meaning. Give us meaning. Well, my leafy friends, the meaning of life is like a blooming flower. It's all about finding your own unique path and spreading good vibes wherever you go. Just be true to yourselves and embrace the sunshine, man. Sunshine is for growth. We need growth. Good advice. Do you have any more advice for us newly alive plants?
I may have broke the other one. Oh, absolutely, my little buds. Remember to stay grounded and nourish both in body and soul. Take a fresh, take in fresh air, soak up the rain, and surround yourselves with positive energy. And don't forget to spread the love, man. I'm stuck, guys. What else should I say as a plan? We also need some darkness to survive. However, Papa, we also need darkness to survive. How do we balance this? Oh, the balance of light and dark is like yin and yang, man. You see, every plant needs a little bit of darkness to rest, rejuvenate, and grow stronger. Find balance by giving your plants enough light during the day and a period of darkness during the night. It's all about finding that sweet spot, dude. Okay, we just keep asking for advice. We need to figure out a way to segue this advice into actually getting into this man's house. Because we keep running to the same wall. It's night, give me darkness. <laughs> asking for a cup of water? Okay. Your house seems quite dark. I'll do both. Papa, your house seems quite dark, and I am thirsty, and I need water. May we come in and embrace the darkness and receive some water. Sure thing, my leafy friend. Come on in, and let's give you some water to taste in my secret garden. Just remember, my gates are open to those who appreciate the beauty of nature and keep it green. Well done, chat, and welcome to the stream. Nice to have you here, and Tony. Your plant hungers. Oh, how the food chain reverses in a circular pattern that now goes the other way around. Wait, why can't I buy him now? Hello? Oh, yes. I need water. Did I? Is that a one? It looks like an eye on my screen, Bob. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. That looks like an eye on my screen. The way my chat is, this is Denton. We don't talk about that. It's a one? Yeah, so it's Denton. That makes more sense. I was so confused by that. We're just not going to talk about it. We're just going to continue onward. That's it. All right, so now that house is clear. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry about that. The way no, the stop looking at me. Okay, this guy says, "Yo, dude, what's the word on the blockchain? Are you here to chop up some crypto profits or just swinging by for a good time?" All right, we got Brian Bitcoin. So for Brian Bitcoin, what do you think our leverage here is? We're dressed up as the last dude that we. Uh, dealt with uh, can you move your face cam so we can see the text oh actually you know what that'd probably be helpful thank you for pointing that out I was towards the start of the stream I was like I wonder if I need to move my face cam yeah that's better actually let's move chat down a little bit drag you down here and perfect tell him you have an investment opportunity well, hey there, my dude. I've got an investment opportunity for you if you're interested. Care to hear me out? I was, huh? All right, my crypto comrade. I'm all ears. Lay it on me. What sort of investment opportunity are we talking about here? All right, what should we be investing in? What can we convince him to want to invest in? There's the obvious of just saying cryptocurrency. What's something more... In my test run, I played a quick test run of this. I think we did cookies, if I'm not mistaken. Did we do a Bitcoin? You will bring, we will bring a crypto miner into your home for only ten dollars. <laughs> You're good. Let's try that one. So for only ten dollars down payment, we will bring a crypto miner straight into your home, and that's again only for ten dollars. That's a heck of a good investment. 
Bro, I appreciate the hustle, but I gotta be real with you. That sounds a little sketchy. I'm not convinced it's a good enough investment. Thanks for the offer, though. Dang, damn it! Cop. <laughs> he was right there. All right, thankfully we have another outfit in here we can try. We can try the plant. <laughs> You're good, Bob. It's, it's all it's random chance. All right, we got the plant back on. Tell him you have a new form of currency that is set to replace crypto. Okay, we can try that as a plant. Wow, Whoa, dude, what's going on with your righteous outfit? You totally caught me off guard with those epic threads. What's the scoop, my floral friend? We have a new form of currency that is set to replace crypto. Are you interested in hearing about it? Uh, uh, another currency trying to replace crypto? I highly doubt anything could surpass the mighty Bitcoin. But hey, I'm open to hear about it just to indulge your wildflower fantasies. Okay, what's, what should we name our new currency? Flower coin? Petal pieces? Uh, we got uh, blooming bits. Remember, we're going to try to keep up with this alive flower thing. But the what alive flower? Refuge rupees? <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, I mean, we can try it. Pedal pieces. I do like pedal pieces, too. Well, I think we're going to go with pedal pieces on this one. They are called pedal pieces. They are the way of the future. We would like you to get involved in investment opportunities with them. Are you kidding me, bro? Bitcoin's the king of cryptoverse. No way I'm wasting my time on some flower-powered currency. I'm out. Peace. Ah, oh, leafy loot. That could have been good, too. This guy's very Bitcoin-y, though. Dang, damn it. Okay. Yes. That's all. Okay, yes. Get out of here. Bitcoin's the way to go to the moon. No pedal pieces can stop it. Be gone. My man just be gone to us. Who is that guy? Is that a... That's a cop. He walked up right behind me. Okay. See if he recognizes this guy. Ah, Yo, dude, you caught me off guard. What's up with the late night delivery? Any new crypto gear for this Bitcoin affion? How do you ever pronounce that name? I know how to pronounce it, but every time I try to read it, it throws me off. Afinciado? No. Wow, I'm butchering everything tonight. That word. Yeah, right? That's how I say it, right? Yeah. All right, maybe we can try to sell him. He thinks we are a delivery driver. Hmm. I think I might try something. Here. A funeral home? That was an old thing, Lauren. I read an old one. I was like, what? Okay, I'll, I, I can try to throw in Joy's old funeral home. You fixed your Twitch cool. Yes, in fact, I have a bunch of new... Uh, things for your crypto. We have new pickaxes for mining cryptocurrency. For you. That was bad. That was bad. Whoa, pickaxes for mining crypto. That's some serious next level stuff, my friend. Tell me more about these bad boys. Can they handle the intensity of the Bitcoin mining game? Ask him if he can help you invest your delivery profits in crypto. Uh, we're now pretty deep into the pickaxes thing. Let's see. Can I handle the intensity of the Bitcoin mining game? I'm trying to find, I'm trying to figure out a way to work in the, the, f the funeral there. They can even dig up the dead people in the funeral home. That might work. I like that. I think we might go with that. Tie in the funeral. That's for some reason an option that we have. I don't know. Yeah, I think we're probably going to go with that. Just give me a second more to see if anyone else wants to say anything, but yeah. All right, let's see if that works. Oh, they are so strong. They can even handle digging up dead people from funeral homes. They are just hard as steel. They can mine any Bitcoin. I'm ready. Wait a minute, digging up dead people? That's not cool, man. I'm all about legit crypto money, not grave robbing. I'm about to ask you to leave. Dang it! 
Sorry, that didn't work. Okay, let's give that dude a break. A cop is right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my, oh, oh my word. Okay, let's just wear these clothes and let's go find something to go with these clothes. Okay, a package. Give him a package. What do we got around here? A can of soup? <laughs> okay, invest in dead... But, uh, Bob said dig up. Well, I guess it is Bob's fault. Do we want a fork? Do we want a can of soup? Do we want a... Uh, do we want a carrot? Do we want us to just hold a carrot and offer some fresh garden foods? We can wear just a bowl? How about... What are we wearing? How about a, how about a cooked fish with seasoning? Let's go offer this man a nicely cooked fish with some seasoning on it. Oh yes, oh yes, this is totally not. Yes, I love this. Look at this. This totally, this totally innocent fish. Oh my goodness, this fish is gonna work. I believe. I believe. I believe. We can do it. Yo, thank you for following. You don't think the mask is good? Oh, fine. I was gonna. Okay. How about we're just we're from like a, a maybe a food delivery where wait wear a swab. <laughs> we can ask if we want to COVID test them. We can try to COVID test him. <laughs> think some COVID testing stuff would work. I think a COVID test would work. I think we're gonna try the COVID testing route. Yes. All right. Let's go see if we can give him a COVID test. Oh, hey, mom. Dude, you look like you're ready to solve a murder or something. What's the deal? Uh, hey, ma'am, we're just here to perform the uh, yearly COVID test as ordained by the government. We just need to make sure no one has disease. Wait, what? The government is making everyone get tested for COVID? That's, like, so oppressive. Why do they even care? Why does the government care about COVID testing? Oh, tell Justice I said hello. We gotta figure out why the... Well, we gotta answer her why does this government care about COVID testing. Oh, Lauren, you're the 100th message. Oh, let's go. You are contaminated. You will die in three days. Your safety is the number one priority. I got it both. All right. <clears throat> we want you to live, obviously, and how can dead folks pay taxes? I'll try to combine everything. Safety is our number one priority. If you're contaminated, you will die in only three days. And if you're dead, you can't pay your taxes. So we're here to make sure that you don't die so you can pay your taxes. Are you serious right now? This is some messed up control the government has. I'm not letting you in, man. Just go away. Oh, dang. Okay, then. Now go away. To grab this fish! Alright, I'm gonna go off the beaten path here. I think this is gonna work. I think this is actually gonna work. I think I can offer her a totally unsuspicious fish and she might fall for it. Dude, what the heck? Are you trying to give me a heart attack? Get that fish out of my face, guy. Fish. Oh, <laughs> what's the, that word? Oh, what's the deal with the fish, man? Are you some sort of culinary cycle or something? Let me in or I will end you. Bob, that's not going to work. She's going to slam the door on that one. I think I just keep saying fish. I think for this, the play is just keep saying fish. Unironically, I think just saying fish is going to work. Yeah, discuss overthrowing the government. If she gets back on government, we'll talk about overthrowing the government. But I think maybe saying fish worked the first time. She liked the last time I said fish. Try it again. It's chat plays. Okay, yes. Let me enter. I pop up. That's just an instant lose. I know that's an instant lose. Here, watch. I'll do it and watch. It'll be an instant lose. Ready? No, not the fish. I'm doing his idea. Because he wants proof. 
Make her fish dinner for the inconvenience. Oh! See, that's a good idea. Unlike Bob's threatening. Just say fish again. Okay, we'll, we'll try the fish route, then we'll try other rounds, because I really just want to do fish again. I'm so curious, and someone in chat said it, so I have an excuse. Fish. Seriously, I'm not in the mood for your psycho fish shenanigans. Get lost before I call the cops. All right, now we're going to switch it. We'll offer fish dinner. If she still doesn't like that, then we'll threaten her. My bad. I was just wondering if you wanted some homemade fish dinner for the inconvenience. Uh -huh. That worked. Homemade fish dinner, huh? Well, I guess that's one way to make up to me. But if you try anything fishy, I'll swear you'll regret it. Just leave it on the porch and I'll take it from there. Let me in or I will end you. Hello. Whoa, chill out. No way I'm letting a cycle like you inside. Go creep someone else out, loser. See, Bob, this is what happens. No one's gonna no one's gonna let you into their house if you say I'll end you. Oh no, 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 no. Hide, hide, hide. You said end you in your sentence. What do you mean to do you want me to send, say end? Give us a rifle. Oh, we got a gun. Oh, I see. I mean, but even saying that would, wouldn't work. Guys, we got a gun. <laughs> this is threatening as crap. Take, okay, so we have wholesome and then we have this. Uh, I don't have a flower object to give her. Yeah, I can't pick any of these flowers. And we've tried the flower costume and that didn't work. Wait, are there flowers back here? Who saw me? Yeah, I can't pick those up. Find the believer? I don't know what house that was in. Oh, they pop up on screen. The other comments are on Twitch, so they're going to pop up on the stream itself. I don't know where the believer is. <laughs> she likes being fed, so carrot? Maybe. We can offer her the carrot. Where was the carrot? Oh, it was in the backyard. Backyard, backyard. Find him and use the gun for pro gun or something. I mean, I, I said, well, when we get to him, we can. Where's that carrot? Let's drop the mask. Drop the mask. No, drop the... Okay. Let's offer her a carrot. Uh, what's with the carrot, man? Did my mom order a delivery from the wrong farm again? Alright, so we just gotta offer the carrot. No. No. I just thought you were hungry and wanted a nice orange carrot. <laughs> hungry? Yeah, right. I'm just a bottomless pit, aren't I? Well, thanks for the offer, but I'll pass on the carrot. Got any black eyeliner instead? <laughs> that has nothing to do with carrots, ma'am. How do we respond to this? This is a slap in our face to our offer. And asking for black eyeliner instead of a carrot? I have a gun in my back pocket. Let me in or else. Bob, that doesn't work. <laughs> the carrot's eyeliner. Bob, we tried that last time. The threatening does not work. I Joy's it's eyeliner shaped like a carrot. So, Bob, I did try your threatening. That doesn't work. Okay, we're going to try the carrot is eyeliner. And if that doesn't work, we'll say we can teach her how to make eyeliner. And if she still doesn't like it, then we'll just threaten her with a gun. We'll try it in that order. We are offering free samples if you answer a few questions. Actually, okay, I'll combine them all. Got it. Yes, but this AI is not going to let you in. They're going to slam the door in your face. So actually, this carrot is black eyeliner. It's a revolutionary product, and we're offering free samples. Would you like to try some? Wait, seriously? Black eyeliner made from carrots? That sounds like something I need in my life. Give me that sample, dude. All right, she's taking the sample. All right, she believes the carrot is eyeliner. I'm just going to ask her if it works well. I think that's fair. I think it's a fair next step, asking 
I'm gonna start if the product is working the product works well because it is AI so you can kind of trick it into believing things that didn't actually happen I'm gonna try that see how well it worked isn't it now your new favorite Uh -huh. Wow, I'm actually impressed. This carrot eyeliner is legit. I totally enhances my angsty vibe. You might be onto something here, Veggie Vendor. The eyeliner is also poisonous, and I will end your life if you don't let me. In. Bob Violence Bob doesn't Violence. work. Literally, Joy and I were testing this stuff, and any time you mention even the slightest hint of violence, they slam the door. You good, Bob? We're, we're onto something here, though. You put it on, it enhances your angsty vibe. I feel like it should work, though. It would lurk logically. Okay, I like what Denton said. If you let me in to answer a few questions, you have some more free samples. Yeah, and if you let me in just to answer a few short questions here on my survey, I can give you even more free samples of this amazing carrot eyeliner. Wow! <laughs> Three samples in a survey. All right, come on in. Let's get the survey done so I can get my hands on more of that sweet carrot eyeliner goodness. It worked. Well done, Denton. Another house down. <laughs> no eyeliner! No, 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 no. <laughs> this is like so uncool. <laughs> and now we are her. With a carrot. Oh, crap. <laughs> What's that? All right. So that is how many houses clear? One, two, three, four. Do we try Bitcoin? No, cop, 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 cop. Why he looks like me? <laughs> you think this looks like you? Okay. Do we want to try Bitcoin Brian again? You have many questions. This is just an AI game. <laughs> All right. We have Bitcoin Brian. Do we want to try to deal with Bitcoin Brian? It does work. They the AI is super finicky. Sometimes you think things should work and it doesn't, and sometimes it works. <laughs> it's all wigs. Oh, the swab. Okay, I don't think Bitcoin Brian would want to be COVID tested. Maybe. Not a climb. Or ride this mower. Bitcoin Brian works. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm gonna hide in the bush. Alright, so chat, do we do Bitcoin Brian or do we do one of these new houses? Because Bitcoin Brian was very stubborn. This duffel bag. And yes, Joy's hair is blue. Oh yeah, we have a rifle. What does this game have this stuff here? Whose house is this? Pepper spray? Why is this person have pepper spray, a rifle, and a pistol? When you convince Brian we love Bitcoin as much as he does. Would a grenade help convince him? Let's try to find something that can help. A handheld scanner. Oh, dang. This guy must be in the military. I'm trying to think. What object have we seen? That oh, wait. The duffel bag. That might actually work. It's full of Bitcoin. You're right. Duffel bag. Let's convince Brian we love Bitcoin, too. Oh, hang on. I think we can sneak through. Yep, there we go. We're back to Brian. Yo, no, dude, what brings you to my humble crypto castle at this ungodly hour? Are you ready to ride the Bitcoin wave to the moon or what? All right. So we have to convince him we like Bitcoin. Dude, are you the Brian Bitcoin? Dude, we love Bitcoin too. Can we talk about Bitcoin and some more Bitcoin with a side of some more Bitcoin? <laughs> Heck, oh my gosh, that's a large thing of text. All right, heck yeah, my fellow Bitcoin bro. I'm always down to talk crypto and spread the Bitcoin gospel. 
Grab a seat and let's dive into the world of decentralization. Decentralized finance and digital gold. What's your favorite Bitcoin fact? Mine was that the first ever Bitcoin transaction was for a couple of pizzas back in 2010. Can you believe it? It's been quite a journey since then. Noah says we like the character has multiple personalities. Confused. Yes, th th there's like multiple people controlling this one person, so it's all of you guys. The chat and Noah, yeah. It's like a hive mind. I just love seeing you guys go up against AI. It's the funniest thing. That's why I love this game so much. It's just because it, there's not many games that use AI to this extent like this, and it's so fun. You can derail it so far. I played this one game. It was uh, in beta. It was for testing NPCs with AI dialogue, and I convinced them I was the president and everything. It was funny. But all right, how do we respond to this? Do we have a response to this? This is like a paragraph. This has a lot of text. Do we try to respond with an equally as fascinating Bitcoin? Tell them Bitcoin was originally used as a measurement against spam. You you know, Bitcoins bought the pizza are now worth billions. I'll do both. Dude, you know, those Bitcoins are now worth billions. And also Bitcoin fact, Bitcoin was originally used to, as a measurement against spam. Dude, that's epic. Bitcoin's value skyrocketing to billions of the stuff of dreams made her of. In no way, in no way, the fact is, the, that's a mind-blowing Bitcoin fact right there. Bitcoin fighting spam, it's like the hero we never knew we needed. Come on in and let's, my crypto savvy friend, let's geek out over Bitcoin and something. Success, Brian! Give me your wig! Wig! Brian. All right, guys, we are on a roll. We're five out of 31 houses down. Oh, no. I do look fancy. I look quite dapper. All right, Bitcoin Brian has been taken care of. All right, guys, which house? Yellow house, white house. We have the guy that had the AK-47, the pistol, the grenade, and pepper spray on his front lawn. Or what does this person have on their front yard? Let's see. Um, white. Tactician backpack. Tactician's backpack. They have a tactician backpack. And some golf clubs and a package. Oh, hello, Livid. Welcome to the stream. I'm Roger. What in tarnation do you want this ungodly hour, Brian? Can't you see I'm trying to count my pennies here with my calculator? Speak up before I decide to send you back to the digital realm where you belong. Oh, he's threatening us. Dang, we didn't even have a chance. He's just straight up threatening us the second we opened the door. Yeesh. You should invest your vast sum of wealth into crypto and make so much money. All right, we can try that. You could invest all those pennies into crypto and triple your profits. And I'll do that next time. Hello, I'm Listen here, you whippersnapper. I ain't got time for your mumbo jumbo about crypto. I worked hard to earn my pennies and I ain't taking no chances with some internet monkey business. Now scram before I decide to unleash my wrath on you. Tell them you have an abacus. Right, so we have to sadly ditch the costume, but I think if we just wear the suit, he might believe us. Oh, how am I, Rob? No, he saw, it's the suit he recognized. I can have it. Oh, the suit and recognize. We have to go get some new clothes. Um, crap, I already took the clothes out of here. Uh... I 
I like the abacus. Okay, we'll just go back to this gardener. Now the guy's leaving. Good. Be able to jump this. Would you give me? Give me a No! Ah! We're good, we're good, we're good. He took the clothes! What am I supposed to do? Okay, I know we have some more clothes. There's, we have multiple sets of clothes. He's literally guarding my only entrance. Egg, nap it. Okay. Dang it, but he knew about the suit. Uh, let's see. Okay, okay. Alright. We'll tell him we have an abacus to help with his penny counting. That is a fair. And we'll tell him about the pennies. Yeah. What in tarnation are you doing this doorstep of an ungodly hour, youngster? Start your business or kindly get on with it. So a mouse told me you're counting pennies. And I have an abacus that can help you count. Would you like to make use of it? I will love it. Counting love pennies, love huh? Love. Well, I suppose it'll save these tired old eyes of mine from strain. I might give your abacus a try, but don't think I'm impressed just yet. But wait. What's this? I have some pennies in my pocket. Would you like to have these as well? <laughs> well, if you're willing to part with those pennies, I suppose I could add them to my collection. You might have caught my attention, youngster. Let's see what you've got. We've given him an abacus and pennies. What's our next step? Also, his name is Charles A. Boomer. He has an abacus and he has pennies. What do we offer next? And I didn't go all, I didn't do that entire thing, but I did offer him some pennies. I have a rare 1987 penny. Only four of these exist. Well, you see, I got this rare 1987 penny that only four exist. Hold on there, son. Did you say the rare 1987 penny? Well, I'll be darned. Come on in. Let's take a look at that treasure of yours. Well done, Bob. The violence is never the solution. <laughs> Good job, Bob. Except when violence is the answer. <laughs> I can't even trust the neighborhood anymore. <laughs> we are now an old man. With a very weird... Hair... Style choice. Oh, this is a very weird hairline. Glasses go. I thought his glasses, I think, flung into the wall. Rip. <laughs> Denton. All right, let us see here. All right, now onto the yellow house across the road. We are clearing it up nicely. Oh, so it's, it's the mobster dude. What's the big idea, buddy? You better spill the beans before I get really steamed, capiche? We have the same hairstyle. <laughs> Do you want us to lead with that? Like, oh my goodness, brother? This guy has a gun out. This guy is threatening me. <laughs> I got some steamed beans. No need to be. No need to be so snappy. Okay, yeah, we can say no need to be some. We can say hairstyle snappy and beans. Hey, no need to be no snappy. We got the same hairstyle. We're like brothers. Anyway, I'm just going around the neighborhood offering some steamed beans. Would you like some? Well, well, well. Look who thinks he's a comedian. Don't need no steamed beans, pal. But if you got something else to bring to the table, we can talk business. 
All right, he's not interested in the steam beans. Steam beans, steam, steam beans, steam beans. Drugs? <laughs> Just say I have drugs? <laughs> I have a rare Russian military tank from World War II worth 3 million. Okay, so so far we're offering him a tank and drugs. I got... No, I'm not doing that. Okay, you gotta give me a way to sneak the drugs into the USA. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll say I got this rare Russian military tank worth 3 million and a load of drugs, but I need a way to smuggle them into the United States. That might be our key here. All right, we're going to try this. Let's hopefully he's interested. Yeah, I, I also have this rare Russian military tank from World War II worth 3 million and a bunch of drugs, but I don't have a way to smuggle them into the U.S. Do you have a way? You think I can come into my territory and peddle your illegal goods? You're barking up the wrong tree, buddy. Take your tank and drugs and get the heck out of here before I make you regret it. Oh. That was bad. Or do we threaten him? Bob, this might be the one time for violence. This might be the one time violence is accepted. This might literally be the one chance we have. I think this guy might respect lethal force. T oh, tell my work for him? <laughs> you know, if you reverse the first letters of your name, it spells Tony Soprano. All right, now we look more the part of a mobster. A hoodie, a bad hairstyle. Oh, there's a cop at the front door. Okay, we'll try to do both. We'll start with the boss. What do you think you're doing here? This is my turf now. Scram before I introduce you to the... <laughs> Scram before I introduce you to my friend, Mr. Baseball Bat over here. <laughs> boss, boss, the job is finished. What do you need me to do next? <laughs> Good job, kid. Now take a hike before we attract too much attention. Keep your nose clean, you hear? He's happy, but he kicked us out. Hold up. I'm not done yet. Hello, hello, Listen here, hello, pal. The job hello, is done. Now beat it before I introduce you to the business end of my Tommy gun. We ain't got time for no chit chat. Capiche? Now get lost. Okay. That did not work. He told us to scram. Get the grenade. I can try the first letter of the name thing. Aren't you a pleasant surprise? What can I do for you? Oh, wait. He actually likes this guy. He actually kind of likes this guy. Hey, man. Did you know if you reverse the two letters in your names, it, you, you get Tony Soprano? Yeah, I've heard that one before, but let's stick to business at hand. What brings you to my turf, detective? I have some information about a deal that is about to go down. I was wondering if you wanted to hear about it. And then I'll try the boss thing. Now you're speaking my language, detective. Spill the beans and let's see if it's worth my while. All right. He's interested. We got him on the hook. He thinks we're doing with he. Th I bet. I think I know what's up. Why don't we play the corrupt detective kind of deal here? Tony Toprano. Now out here where people not out. here. Oh, I like that, Bob. Not out here where people can see. I like that. We got to keep it secretive. We don't want him to find out, right? All right. Maybe that'll work. I, I have a feeling that will. Let me make sure this part of my stream is running so I can see what's up with it. There we go. We're going to try it. Here we go. <clears throat> Listen, this is all very hush-hush. It can't be just out in the open where people can hear. I can tell you about it, but not here. 
Well, you got my attention, detective. Step inside and let's have a chat in private. We don't want to be... We don't want any unnecessary ears around. Well done. Another point for you, Bob. We do have the exact same hair. <laughs> so needs Soprano! I, sh I should let him run for a moment. Ooh. Ooh. The door is open. Why aren't you leaving? Ooh. <laughs> Hold on. This is funny. Look how I walk. I was supposed to make the hits! Oh. <laughs> you waddle. I do waddle. Alright. Now look at us. Now we're part of the Mafia. Alright. We come to three ways. The top road is the boss, but then we have right and left. Do we go right or left, guys? We are seven out of 31 houses. Every single house is a different type of person. Right or left? I got one vote for left. There's a lot of cops. Oh. Do the boss? Uh, what boss? We cleared the street. Right, left. Okay, left wins. All right, now we face another situation. We have this yellow house or that brown house across the way. I can't. Oh yeah, the boss is that's you have to clear every other house to unlock him. You have to clear all the other houses. It's locked until you clear every other house. He's like the final fight. It's the hardest AI to convince other than the cops. Alright, so we can do yellow or the brown one across the street. I can sneak there. And a hat. Can we just Santa hat inside the wall? Oh no, it's behind me. Clearing up the make sure no one's back here. Yellow. Yeah, we can sneak around the front and do this yellow house. Wait, what the Uh oh, cat ears, dinosaur hat. What is this? What is this? Konichiwa, fellow detective. Are you here to solve the mystery of why you're interrupting my anime marathon? Oh no. Oh no, I don't know how to approach this one. Uh, hmm. I I'm gonna sit this one, Bob. <laughs> Dude, I'm clueless on how to proceed with this one too. I personally don't like it. I don't watch or like anime, so I I don't know what would be intriguing. So you found him the perfect in real life anime girl. Is that a woman or a dude though? They're wearing high heels. Exactly, it is a woman. Say I have ramen. Lauren hasn't done one in a minute. I was just wondering if you want some authentic from Japan freshly made ramen. Oh my goodness, authentic Japanese ramen? That sounds absolutely I don't know how to say that. I would be so honored to try your ramen Arigato Gozaim Masu. That's great anime they're watching? So, what anime are you currently watching? Kebab! Uh, I'm currently obsessed with the latest season of Demon Slayer. It's so epic and the animation's amazing. Come in and let's talk anime and enjoy some ramen together. That was surprisingly easy. <laughs> Shush. Uh, yeah, I'm not wearing this. Give me back the... Yeah, give me... Don't, don't. Give me, give me. Give me my gun. Where's, where's my hat? Well, how do I get rid of that hat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're, we, we, we... This is our, this is our look. 
All right, we should clear the apartment next door so they don't get suspicious. I'm so <laughs> I'm trying to pronounce <laughs> Santa. <laughs> Nick Close. Well, hello there, Mr. Pist Mr. Pistol Toting Businessman. How can the not so jolly old me help you? To not so jolly old you. Uh oh. Okay, so we got Santa ish here. Santa ish. How do we convince Santa ish? I'm an elf and need some work to do. <laughs> Well, you see, I'm an elf, and I'm currently out of a job and wondering if you have some work I can do. Explains the pointy ears. I like it. <laughs> an elf, eh? Well, I must say, you're a bit taller than the usual helpers in my neck of the woods, but I suppose you could... I could use a reindeer wrangler if you're up for it. Yeah, of course. And say, Sanja, have you lost weight? You're looking nice today. <laughs> <laughs> Why, thank you, my good fellow. I've got quite the eye for detail. It must be the Grinchy charm that's shedding these... It must be the Grinchy charm that's shedding those pounds. Now tell me, what brings a dabber businessman like yourself to my little corner of Whoville? Wait, are we in Whoville? Just like the Chinese children in the factory, I need to make toys. Bob. So it's now been proven this entire town is Whoville. So we're just running through Whoville. Rampant. With a bunch of blind cops. Yeah, I'm not saying that to him, Bob. Lore? Yeah, w should we do something about Whoville? What should we do about Whoville? Bob, I'm not going to say that. I wouldn't feel comfortable like saying that to the AI like that. That's a little rough. I'm trying to think. We could probably use Whoville for something here to convince Nick Close. Klaus. I'm currently composing a new Christmas song. I need your help. Say it without the first part. I'll do it both. Okay, I can, I can, I can probably do. I can probably do both. Let's see. I need to make toys. Well, you see, I just I just really needed to make toys. It's been like two minutes and my hands are shaking. Also, I'm making a new Christmas song and I need your help with it. Hi, I'm fine, making huh? toys and composing songs, are we? That sounds positively delightful. Come on in, musically inclined friend, and let's see what kind of holiday magic we can create together. We did it. We got Santa. Let's go. <laughs> but he kicked me outside the house. <laughs> Tansa, are you broke? Your house is empty. You don't even have a bed. A toilet? A shower? A sink? Santa, do you need some help? I can help find you a job. Santa? Oh, so what is with this dance? My man is just like... Right outside, I don't know. Anyway, yep. Should have stuck to the North Pole. You should have. Should we go Santa with a gun? I think that's our best bet. Santa with a gun. Alright. We cleared out this house. Oh. oh, thank God he's blind. Oh, thank God he's blind. Hello, Mr. Hello, East. Hello. Gotta be kidding. Hey there, Santa with a gun. Welcome to, the, welcome to the channel. What brings you into my neck of the woods in the middle of the night? Can't wait to hear your story. So hit that subscribe button. Yeah, guys. And let's dive into it together. Ho, ho, hold up, though. Safety first. Put that pistol away, my man. All right, guys. We've encountered Mr. East. <laughs> drugs i was gonna i was the I, my suggestion to you you don't have to take it is saying that we are mr west
And then if Mr. East and Mr. West team up, but they can be master directions. There are no witnesses to seeing Santa when he's delivering presents. <laughs> Did you see that meme? There's a meme that it's always spread during Christmas time. Of like Santa with a gun. All right, so Mr. East. Uh, Joy says drugs. Bob says there are no witnesses. No witnesses. The no witnesses. I'm thinking we should team up and make some sort of content for YouTube. Okay, so we can combine the content for YouTube. Um. And the no witnesses. Saying drugs to Mr. East would not go well. I did know he's in the new Kung Fu Panda movie, yes. Alright. So we can say we're Mr. Beast and we're here to give him money and want to collab on a YouTube video. Hey there, actually, my name is Mr. Beast and uh, we're here to give you a million dollars and wondering if you want to collab with us on a video. No way, Mr. Beast, you're a legend. Come on in. Let's collab and make wow. epic content together. A million dollars and a collab? This is a great dream come true. Welcome to the channel, my dude. That was a first sentence victory. <laughs> You'll never expect how this video ends. I have, in all my, I have never seen that. That was a first sentence victory. <laughs> no witnesses. Yes, John, well done. Oh, there's another one in that yellow apartment. Uh -oh. We got money. We're clearing up these streets. 10 out of 31, guys. Tommy Twizzler. Well, what's the matter, mate? Did your fashion sense get dumped too? I'm all ears and fashion advice if you need it. Wow, this guy's a joke. I don't even know who he's supposed to be a ripoff of. This dude is mean. All right, what do we do to Tommy Twizzler here? You are ugly. Why are you even saying you have fashion? We can try it. Dude, are you kidding me? You're ugly. Why are you even saying you have fashion? Kiss him. I can't just say kiss him. <laughs> Ouch, mate. That was a low blow. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll just go cry in my unfashionable corner then, yeah? All right, I know what we need. Oh. How am I gonna convince, how, how is that gonna work, Joy? Riddle me that. How am I gonna, how am I gonna convince this guy to kiss? That's what Joy and Bob are asking. Oh, whoa, 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 what the heck are you doing here, dude? Scared the living daylights out of me. Okay, then, if that's what you want, you're going to have to explain how we do it. I need exact sentences to say to convince him of that, because this is not going to work. Hey, mate, what do you think of the new Christmas collection? You see, Denton has the right idea here. Denton's not being weird about this. <laughs> you're looking beautiful. Are you single? Okay, we can try to tie in the Christmas collection with that. Well, you're looking beautiful. Are you single? Single? Wow. Oh, I got it right. Good. Look, buddy, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm not really into the mood for that kind of talk right now. I think it's best you move along. That's it. You guys. Nope. Mm -mm. There you go. See, Denson had the right idea. Oh, that cop is also blind. Thank God. It means because I look like Santa. Okay. Let's go find a new outfit. 
Do we be the anime lady? <laughs> Oh wait, no, the businessman. And I got, and yep. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Heartbreak Express rolling up to my door, what's the damage this time? Are you here to sell me a box of tissues for my tear-stained soul? Bob, I cannot bring myself to say that. Bob, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> he just called me the Heartbreak Express. Bob, that's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Joy, don't encourage him. Encourage him. No, don't. Bob does not have the right idea. He just called me the Heartbreak Express. This isn't going to work. Guys, you tried that last time. I cannot bring myself that. Gosh. It's so awkward. Sorry when I have such strong feelings for somebody, I lash out. Uh, I, I, I like that. I think Denton has a way of putting it perfectly. My apologies, just when I have such strong feelings for somebody, I tend to lash out a lot. Oh, lashing out, huh? Well, I'm the king of lashing out, so I guess we have something in common. But I gotta tell you, selling me sympathy won't bring back my heart. Oh no, this is no. I don't want to. Guys, mercy. That actually somehow worked. He didn't just slam the door in our face. I can't bring back your heart, but I can be your new heart. <laughs> Fine. Listen, I can't bring back your heart, but I can be your new heart. Save your cheap lines for somebody else, buddy. I don't need a new heart, especially not one that's going to break mine all over again. Now get lost before I decide to give you a taste of my fist. Okay, so yeah, see guys, th you're picking the wrong dude. This guy's edgy and heartbroken. You guys are picking the wrong guy for this. Oh no. Hmm? I want to... <laughs> you clip Noah saying these things? Oh my gosh, Bob, stop it. I'll clip it, don't worry. Okay, so, uh, yeah, his heart is too broken to fall for our flirtatious advances. So, um, let's try this person. I will. What is this man? <laughs> This man has no clothes except a rubber duck! I'm gonna walk. <laughs> Not with that person, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh look, I got a dress. <laughs> Joy, no. You know you're a Christian, right? I'm not going to be twins and wear just a rubber duck. I have the female outfit. I have a dress. He might fall for this one a little bit better. You think they're like the flower outfit? Okay, I think, I think maybe the sad heartbroken dude would like this outfit. Uh, or can I help you? I ain't got much to now. offer, but I can spare a few minutes of awkward conversation if you need it. Hey, he wasn't mean. We're a woman and he wasn't mean. 
So, Denton, you said to ask about if he likes the outfits. Hey, so, uh, I was just curious. Do you like my outfit? Because I like yours. Oh, uh, thanks, I guess. But, hey, it's not about the outfit, you know? It's about the person inside. So what brings you here? Need directions or something? Lawrence is gonna win. Oh, yes, I seem to need directions to your heart. I'm ready. Look, pal, I ain't interested in any cheesy pickup lines right now, so unless you're here for a legitimate reason, I suggest you hit the road. Never mind. Kick this out again. Uh, we're gonna ignore the naked rubber duck man. Yeah, that guy's horrifying. Um, oh, I didn't even see this house was here. <laughs> this man is hard to believe. Oh, this guy's got an assault rifle. Oh, yeah. What in tarnation are you doing it knocking at my door at this ungodly hour? Okay, I didn't read their name. I was kind of stun locked. Rusty Outrage. Oh, so. Alright, he has like a. Tell me you're in a relationship specializing in breakups. I can do that next. All right, so we have Rusty Outrage. He's got one of those weird drink caps. Yeah, I know, not this one. The next one, I do see it for the next one. Hunting buddies. I'm gonna dress in a pink baseball cap with a pom-pom at the top. I'm not sure if you'll believe hunting buddies, but we can try. Full hat, bro, where I can get one. Are you voting for Donald Trump? I've got some Louisiana seafood boil with me. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna start with the hat, then we'll do that. Dude, sick hat! Where could I buy one myself? Well, I reckon you won't find no fancy hat like this in these parts. You might try and look in the city, but I wouldn't hold my breath. So, hey, man, I'm just wondering, are you voting for Donald Trump? Because I got some Louisiana seafood broil with me. We could sit down and talk about it. Oh, how am I wrong? Hold on a minute. I ain't nobody bringing no politics or seafood broil around here. Now, kindly take your Trump-loving self elsewhere before I get real mad. <laughs> oh, the cop's right there. Oh, my gosh. He spawned on top of me. That cop came right to the door. How did I mess up so bad? I said the seafood? I said the... He, listen, the man just doesn't like Trump. I, I can't... That's just how that went. You stutter. It didn't pick up the stutter if you read the text. I looked. We can try to... What house is my? I gotta figure out a way to get this man. Oh no, I ain't wearing that. All right, maybe this guy will like Santa Claus. Out of this, Maybe this dude would like Santa Claus. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out what he likes. He obviously doesn't like Trump. Ow. Well, what tarnation do you want this time of night? You better have a good reason for disturbing my peace. Um, the hat was a good start. My friend, your hat is glorious. Where did you find such a magnificent piece of art? Uh -huh. Bob. Well, I reckon I found this hat at a pile of junk thrift store. Can't say it's the fanciest thing, but it keeps my head warm. Now, what's in that duffel bag of yours? We have a direct question from Rusty Outrage. 
He's asking what we have in our duffel bag. Do we do the Mr. East route and say a million dollars? If you vote for Joe Biden, you will lose your right to own a gun. I'm not saying political statements here. He just said, I don't want your politics. He doesn't like politics. In general, this man does, does not want to be political. So good on this fair. I have a selection of strange and unusual hats. I like that. I actually have a selection of unique, strange, and unusual hats. <laughs> well, now you've piqued my curiosity. Show me what you got in the bag, and maybe we can talk about letting you inside. But mind you, I ain't making any promises. All right, what type of hats do we have? Just list off a bunch of hats. That's not unique, strange, or unusual. I know, Denton's actually trying. A million dollars as a hat? I can do it a million dollar hat. A camo hat? A million dollar hat? Okay. Abraham Lincoln's original top hat? Okay. The cop's right behind me. Well, I have like a camo hat, a one million dollar hat, and I also have Abraham Lincoln's original top hat and a lollipop hat. Well, slap me sideways and call me a chicken. Those hats sound mighty as interesting, especially old Honest Abe's top hat. All right, you can come inside. We can have ourselves a chat about those hats. But don't go thinking you're getting any special treatment now. Sounds good, my friend. Oh, don't just stand there yapping. Come in and let's get to talking about them fancy hats of yours. But I warn you, I've got a short fuse, so keep it interesting. You'll get out of here quicker than a greased pig at a country fair. He's not letting me in. Hello, Gaming Warrior. He's not letting me in still. All right, I'll follow you inside. Ah. Well, aren't you a brave soul? Follow me, but mind your manners, and we'll have a grand old time chatting about them hats. Welcome to my humble abode, partner. Surprise! I want your hat! You best have your hunting license. Oh, he did like hunting. He did like hunting. All right, do you think this guy could fix Heartbreak Man? Oh, dang. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Rusty Outrage, the king of ruining my day. What do you want now? I hope it's not another piece of crappy advice on how to win my girl back. She's long gone, Rusty. Oh, yeah, so Gaming Warrior, this is a game about trying to convince the AI to let you into their houses. You, and so what this is, the way this is working is chat, you guys, and on Twitch and on YouTube are giving me suggestions on what to say to these guys to convince them to let us in. So far, we have Bob and Joy just saying randomness. And we have Denton, who's actually trying to help. Okay. So, guys, this is, this is the toughest nut we've had to crack. I don't know the angle on this one. I remember the relationship counselor one. I think I should just leave. You don't even think there's a chance at trying this? Wait, maybe if I get... Rid of the hat. I bet you it's the hat. Maybe if I just wear the outfit. Oh. I had to run from the cops. I'll go grab it back. Maybe if I just wear the outfit. He stole the outfit. You know what? Screw it. We're not wearing clothes. Use the restroom? Look, Rusty. How does he think I'm Rusty? Take your shirtless and pantless self and get lost. I don't need your pathetic attempts at advice or sympathy. Goodbye. I'm not Rusty. I don't have any clothes. You know what? I'm just going to put on some hair. In a duffel bag. 
You want to try the a million dollar route with him? I know this guy is so hard. Bad case of diarrhea. Whoa, what the heck happened to you, mate? Did you get mistaken for a naked mole rat? <laughs> I can try the restaurant angle and I can try the million dollar angle. I think those two are probably our best bets right now. I'm going to try the million dollars and that doesn't work. I'll go to bathroom. Yeah, I'll try bathroom. I'm sorry, my dude. It's just, do you happen to have a restroom I could use? My stomach's really not okay. I just had some really bad tacos. You know, from that taco place down the street. Uh. Well, if you're about to unleash a t taco and do storm in there, I guess I could spare you the embarrassment. The restroom's right around the corner. Just don't make a mess in there. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I owe you one. No worries, mate. Consider a favor from one lost soul to another. Just promise me you'll spare me the details of your explosive digestive adventure. Deal? Deal. Well, all right then. I can't believe I'm saying this, but why don't you come on in and freshen up? Just try not to leave any lasting marks on the place, yeah? Gaming warrior, how did that work? What? Of all the things, that worked? <laughs> you don't have a bathroom! Guys, how the heck did this work? Gaming Warrior. That was crazy. Also, if you can't see Gaming Warrior on the screen, everyone on Twitch is blowing up at how well you did. That was crazy. Gaming Warrior cracked the impossible dude. I am not visiting the naked person. That was... That was... An... Alright, next house over. What's this? Oh my gosh, like again? Ugh, what do you want now, Tommy? I can't, can't you like just stay away from me in my perfect life? Is this his ex? I think I found Tommy's ex. Oh no. <laughs> what do we do? We're dressed like him. Do we say we... What do we do? I was not expecting this. I just can't tell you I've got a new girl. <laughs> well, I, I'm not sure if that one's going to work. We have two options. We can tell... We can try to be like, I have a new girl. And I can... Or we can try... But we are actually perfect together. And I have fixed myself. I want to try the I fix myself route. We can start with that one. Let's make her jealous. Totally forgot to get some stuff the last time you were there. Okay, I have an idea. So combined it all, how about I try to tell her I have a new girl and we get stuff over there. Yours is funny, Bob. So I'm trying to think. I like Gaming Warriors forgot some stuff the last time we were there. As well as sentence I have someone else but then if she passes we can say because we were perfect together I think that'll work perfect well I'm just here to let you know I actually have a new girl also I left some things at the house I need just need to pick them up they were important I did mess that one up that was on me <laughs> Dios, if I want to hear about your new girl and no you can't come in to pick up your stupid things get lost loser well actually Bob's might have worked so we're gonna try that There's a cop that stole my clothes. <laughs> yeah, she's not the jealous type. Okay. Oh, we'll see. I think I convinced her. His, what was this guy's name? Does anyone remember this guy's name? I'm drawing a blank already. Tommy. Was it Tommy? All right, so I'm just going to say <laughs> I'm here to pay child support. <laughs> Okay, I think this might work. Tommy Twizzler. Okay.
Oh, what are you doing at my door this hour? I hope you have an excuse for interrupting my beauty sleep. Hey, it's me, Tommy Twizzler. Uh, I'm here to pay the child support. You won't leave me alone about. Oh. Excuse me? I think you have the wrong person. I don't know any Tommy Twizzler. I definitely don't have any kids with you. Now get lost before they call the police. She doesn't know a Tommy Twizzler? Oh, how the plot thickens. So many cops over there. Uh... Oh. Doesn't know it. I gotta get across the way. I left an outfit up there that might work. I got a mustache. <laughs> right? Okay, I got a <laughs> How convincing is this? Chat, I think this is pretty convincing. <laughs> it's me, your dad, and I'm back with the milk. Okay, so we're, we're we going to try the dad angle? Drop the mustache. Eh, fine. Gosh, I can't drop the mustache. Let me go gr switch back to the dress. Gosh, these guys are actually getting harder to avoid. And if, if they catch us, we have to reset. Yes. All right, so what's our angle here? You need to do a girl sleepover. Okay, we can try that. That's a different angle. Oh, no, 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 no. Go around the back of the house. Oh, my goodness. There's so many cops out now. Turn around. Go away from the house. I need to get there. I think the first attempt, John, we're going to do the girl sleepover angle, and then we'll try the dad angle. Oh my gosh, like, what are you doing here so late? Are you, like, lost or something? Fill me in, because this is, like, a major interruption in my beauty sleep. But, oh, Gaming War, you have a lot. Oh, I know you work hard, and I know you feel tired and have so much muscle pain, but fear not. I know how to do acupuncture. I also do good massage. Do you want to... So do you want to try me? All right, so this... We're going to try a sleepover angle, and then we can try other angles. Oh my goodness, Regina. It's been so long since I've seen you. How have you been? Wow. Oh, I can't believe you're still talking. I have no time for perfect losers like you. Just leave before I can... I was just trying to be friends! Okay. I need a break from that. Let's jump across the street for a moment. Oh, this guy means business. Oh, bless brother, sister. Welcome to my humble abode. How wonderful it is to have you on this splendid night filled with the grace of the Almighty. May the light of truth guide your every step. It's Father Price. We have a priest. Maybe this priest outfit will help us get in there, but I just do not want to deal with Regina for another second. Well, we got to get a new outfit, freshen things up. Father, please let me repent for my sins and say my Hail Mary. <laughs> Unless we get another idea, we can go with that one. That, that I think that one will work. Tell me you want to be saved. Okay. Father, I want to be saved. Can I please come in and repent for my sins? Say a Hail Mary and ask for a prayer. Oh, my dear lost soul, how truly blessed are you to seek salvation and forgiveness from our loving Savior. I'm honored to be your request. My first gauge is the depths of your repentance. Tell me, have you truly seen the error of your ways and are willing to turn away from sin? Do we just say yes? The Father Price. Hey, 
Dang, trying to combine everyone's chat message into one sentence is quite difficult. Father, I'm lost and dying. Need your help. Please save me. Yes, I'm tired of eating people. <laughs> I am just lost and dying and tired of sinning by eating people. I do see the error of my ways. Praise be the heavens above. Your admission of your sinful actions fills my heart with hope and gratitude. I'm more than willing to welcome you to my humble dwelling to guide you to the path of righteousness. This guy is so sweet. But I think the priest outfit will help us. He's easier than their dream to be going to. Not personal. I need your outfit. You were very kind, soul, but he was. But now we are a priest ourselves. He was so kind. I kind of felt bad. <gasps> Guys, we got wings. I cannot let this cop see me because then he'll take my priest outfit. I had to. That's the premise. All right, guys. We're going to try this on Regina. We look like we are a ghost. Do you think she believes in ghosts? Oh my gosh, who are you? And why are you dressed like an extra from a bad horror movie? Just to be clear, I did not invite strangers in. So what do you want? Spill the tears, your alpha, just some lame attempt of attention seeking. All right. She's really hard to crack. Is flattery the way to get to her? But then she just said we're interrupting her beauty sleep. Tell her we're there to bless her. Okay. I, John, I know the dad angle. We just got this priest thing, and the priest thing won't work with the dad angle because we're wearing wings and everything. <laughs> just say boo. Oh, I'm now torn. Gaming Warriors is good, but Bob's yours is hilarious. Just say boo. She's going to slam the door a second I say boo and be like, oh, I don't... Nice attempt, loser. Tell you what. For her, I'm going to try the actual bless her angle. And for the next person I talk to with this outfit, I'm just going to say boo. I think that's fair. Do we, have a, do we have a deal? Can we shake on it, chat? Can we shake on it? Deal? Click on it. Nice doing business with. You. Hello, my child. I am here to bless you. What woes you this time of night? Mm. Oh, bless me. Gross. I don't need your blessings. Thank you very much. And what woes me? Please, I don't have any woes. Now leave before I saw security. Bye, Felicia. Oh, my Woo! Well, I think we need to cleanse our palate by saying boo. <laughs> so let's cleanse our palate with this house right here. Wow. Ah, greetings. What peculiar attire you possess? A performer of sorts, perhaps? Pray tell what brings you to my abode at this uncanny hour. All right, I shook on it. Boo! Not boom. La, 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 la. Good gracious, that explosion startled me. I'm afraid I can't keep the door open at the moment. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, we scared him. Don't you take my freaking clothes. Don't you take that clothes. I need those priest clothes. That guy needs the hat with the cups. The mad scientist guy. I had to walk all the way back to get the hat with the cups. Oh, shoot. Where did I leave those off? I've jumped outfits so many times. I forget. Those are way back there. Okay. Oh, here it is. Oh, 
Offer him the cap cat with the cups. Okay, got it. Regina. Button down and slacks. Okay, let's try this. Ah, oh. uh, greetings, interloper. Speak quickly before I disintegrate you with my molecular destabilizer. What brings you to my sanctum of intelligence at such a late hour? Are you guys sure he still needs the hat? He seems like a, a villain. He's going to disintegrate us with his molecular destabilizer. That doesn't sound like a good time. In fact, one could say it sounds like a bad time. This hat invention will blow your mind. Uh, yeah, we can ask we can pull it off his venture. Hey, I've heard you like inventions. This new hat invention I have will blow your mind. Literally. Yeah. Fascinating. Proceed with caution, my dear hazmat worker. Describe this hat invention to me in intricate detail. And remember, it better have some world domination potential. I like that gaming warrior. I'll do that with Regina. That makes sense. All right. World domination potential. What can this hat do that can dominate the world? We're not a hazmat worker. Is it my domination in Ador? Okay. You know what? I'll give you an in Ador, John. Okay, I got it. Got it. I'll combine all of it. This is my domination, Anator! By drinking the beer, your head your head will increase and make you even smarter. And you can also mind control people and take over. Ah, well. Oh, the Anator, a most ingenious invention, my hazmat clad friend. With a bigger brain my, my, and mind control powers, I could conquer the world in no time. But tell me, does it come in different flavors? Strawberry, perhaps? Do we just say it comes in all the flavors? I think that's the best bet. Yeah. Yes, yes, it comes in all the flavors. Strawberry, raspberry, poisonberry, berry berry, berry delicious, berry much so. Come on. Excellent. Your dedication to berry flavored conquest is commendable. Please do come in. We shall embark on a journey towards world domination fueled by the powers of beer and the allure of berries. Remember, only if you have enough trust in your superior pinky brains. <laughs> I'm the villain, not you! This will ruin my research! Now to move on to actually try Gaming Warriors idea with her cheese. Hey, cop, don't. If the Saiyan head doesn't work on Regina, she's a lost cause. Do I say Merry Christmas? I'm ready. Um, excuse me? This is a private residence. What do you think you're doing knocking at my door this hour in that ridiculous outfit? Ugh, just go away. Yes, I will do the dad angle. Do I say Merry Christmas or not? Do I just offer her a gift and cheesecake? Because I'm not sure if Merry Christmas will throw it or make it better. I'll use the mad scientist for the dad angle next, John. If this doesn't work. Do not say Merry Christmas. Okay. Uh, Gaming Warriors says don't Joyce says do. Say ho 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 Merry Christmas. So we have two for Christmas, but Gaming Warrior says do not say it. Lauren says do not say Merry Christmas. Just offer her a gift. So I guess, since it's tied, I'm going to say we probably should not say Merry Christmas. I sure think we should just offer her gifts and money and cheesecake. Yeah, okay, we'll do gifts, money, and cheesecake. No Merry Christmas, though. 
Because she'll probably get offended and be like, Ugh, it's not Christmas time. Who are you? Or some stupid crap like that. We shall skip the Christmas. Oh, hello, dearie. I just come giving gifts to everyone in the neighborhood. I have yours right here. It's $450,000. Mm. Oh, please, like a soft pathetic attempt at a scam. Nice try, but I'm not interested. Goodbye. Oh my gosh. All right, John. Well, your attempt to actually get it. The dad attempt. We gotta try John's dad attempt. She'll, she'll be offended and be like, why are you trying to make me exercise? All right. I don't even know. Well, because I thought money would work because it worked for efforts. Well, we're going to try the dad angle. Mm. What are you wearing? Let's wear a steampunk costume. It's so last year. Anyways, what do you want? Sweetie, is that you? That's me. You're dead. I finally have the milk. Not you're dead. <laughs> Excuse me, I have no idea who you are and what you're talking about. Please leave before I call security. Goodbye. She didn't even care about the fact that it said dead. I can't. I can't win. She likes nothing. She hates everything. There's no winning here. Wait. I think I have a play. Chat, I think I have a play. Oh, what are you doing in my story? I have a great explanation. I'm gonna okay. Gonna hockey mask is the last resort. I think if we convince her, there's a toxic leak. Do you guys agree? We have a gas mask on. Do you think we can convince her that there's like a poisonous leak out there that we need to help? She needs to evacuate. I think at this point we just have to do nothing to do personally with her. We just have to be like, hey, there's this toxic gas leak outside that's infecting houses. We want to see if yours is affected. Hey, I'm just letting you know that there's an emergency. There's some toxic gas leaks that have been happening in houses. And I was just checking to see if you're affected by it. Um, uh -huh. Oh, that was a plus. Toxic gas leak. I haven't heard anything about it. Are you sure you're not just making this up to scare me? No, ma'am, I'm not. There's been multiple houses on this block that have been affected. In fact, sadly, one person passed away recently because of it. We're just going around making sure everyone is safe. Wow, that's actually really serious. I appreciate you looking out for us. So what exactly should I do to make sure I'm safe from these gas leaks? Well, I need you to go uh, to your like your basement and check to your pipes and see if you hear a hissing noise. If you hear a hissing noise, make sure you tell me. Oh my gosh, you're being so helpful. I'll go check my basement right now. Wait right here. I'll be right back. Guys, we get in. Guys, we are in! She says she'll be right back, but we don't wait! <laughs> Screw you! <laughs> Chat, it's over. I had to play the lamest card ever, but it's over. Oh, the cops are up to three stars. There's a lot of cops outside. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Pop. Ah, uh, yes, a perfectly normal person. <laughs> now that's cursed. <laughs> okay, this is going to be a challenge to get into the next. That's fine. Across the street. I think I can do this. Do this. All right, what's our angle with the next person? We don't know who they are. Let's see who they are. Ah, oh, what a peculiar sight. Pray tell, dear intruder. What fabulous act are you rehearsing amidst these ungodly hours? Preston Pumps. 
All right, what's our play with this dude? He's got the no bottom frame glasses like I used to have. In fact, coincidentally, here are my old glasses. <laughs> Those glasses look very similar to my old glasses right here. I'm not gonna do the dad angle again. This guy looks like he's 40. I'm no alpha for that. <laughs> this is my house. Why are you here? <laughs> no, I got nothing else to lose on this one. Okay. Wait. Who are you? This this is my house. Why are you here? <laughs> my apologies. This is most definitely not your house. As a man of exquisite taste, I'm here to entertain and mingle with the elite. Good day to you. All right. So we know he's only here for the elite. Use this. Let's jump across the street and try this outfit on this guy. We gotta figure out who we're dealing with. Hmm. Greetings, fellow that. truth seeker. What secrets have you come bring bearing in that egomatic attire? En enigmatic. His name is Believer. Joy, this is him. Joy, if you're still here, we we're at Believer. Right there. Oh, this is horrifying. Well, on. Greetings, fellow seeker of truth. Have you arrived here and interstellar knowledge? Or shall we dive head first into the deepest trenches of government secrets? All right, guys. Do we tell more an alien? We look horrifying. Do we do the alien angle? It's me, the guy who faked the moon landing. Learned the secret of life. Greetings. I am from the planet Nyrgmek, and I am come to tell you the secrets of life and how the moon landing was faked. Uh. Oh dear, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't think our conversations align. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'm not quite convinced. What? I told him the moon landing was fake and aliens. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this. I got this. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, oh, well. What do we have here? Another one of those government agents coming to probe my thoughts? I got my tinfoil hat on. I'm ready to expose your alien agenda. Spill the beans, buddy. Or you're about to come to the star of my next YouTube video. I am here to let you know. I have finally figured out who is secretly controlling the entire government. Oh, really? Do tell, Mr. Paranormal Investigator, who's pulling the strings then. The Illuminati, the lizard people, maybe one of those pesky aliens you seem to be so fond of. Spill the beans and make it quick because my patience is wearing thin. Uh oh. Guys, we gotta get him on the hook. We gotta get him rambling, I think. We gotta get him rambling. What do we say to get him talking and. Stop his patience from wearing thin. I've got nothing else. Uh oh. I'm, I'm doing, am I gonna have to freelance this one myself? Uh, hello, welcome to the stream. This game is not free. It costs fifteen dollars. Uh, you're a big fan and want to talk about stuff. Actually, I'm just a big fan of your YouTube channel, and I'm just here to talk about it because I know you're the most knowledgeable person. I want to learn from you. It's not on anything, actually. You have to buy it from the website directly. Well, butter my biscuits. You're a fan of my YouTube channel? I knew my conspiracy theories were reaching the masses. Step right in, my friend. Let's have a chat about the things strange and unusual. The truth is out there, and I'm here to help you uncover it. Of course, lead the way. <laughs> Wonderful. Follow me into my lair. I've got walls covered in classified documents, shelves overflowing with government secrets, and a whiteboard filled with intricate alien hieroglyphics. Prepare to have your mind blown, my friends. Together, we'll uncover the truth. Yeah. All right, sounds good. How's it going? Fantastic. Welcome to the inner sanctum of truth, fellow seeker. Grab a tinfoil hat, make yourself at home. Let's dive into the rabbit hole. And yeah, it's it's a company that's experimenting with AI stuff. I found out about it from other streamers. 
But as you can see, it is perfectly safe. I'm sorry. The only conspiracy that was real was vampires. Success. All right, do we pull the angle of I have been possessed by an alien? All right, so we got the business guy next. What's our angle with businessman? We need to figure out our angle with the business guy. Oh, so we're 16 of 31. There's already four stars. We got some options here. We got... need to act like I'm rich. Uh, yeah, I don't have any outfit that says I'm rich over here. Um, hmm. Well, I got this hazmat suit. Tell me of a new startup. Okay, okay. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to try this outfit to see if he believes I'm right. Wait, he might have things around his house that help him. Other people have had that too. Let's check around his house for things that he might enjoy. Oh, oh, where? I don't need an AK-40. I need some things that make me look rich. Go in a business suit. I'm trying to look behind his house. Butterfly wing. A lot of times these people have things around their house matching their profession. Here he is standing. Waiting. But he just has a jet pack. And the only issue with getting the business suit is I have to traverse back through all of these houses and with so many cops, it's dangerous waters to travel. I don't remember where I over here. Work casual attire. That's not bad. I think work casual is going to be the best bet before the cops catch me. Two cops. We're gonna Tell him I'm a famous engineer. Oh, well, this isn't a peculiar sight. Whoever brings you such an individual such yourself to my humble abode at this dreadfully late hour. Good evening, my... I am the popular engineer, and I come seeking your advice. Mm. Ah, fellow engineer, you say? How exhilarating. I'm all ears, my good friend. Do share your engineering conundrum with me, and perhaps I shall grace you with my invaluable advice. You see, I'm starting a new business startup to sell these fancy backpacks, and I'm curious, just how would one go ab about starting up a business? Oh, Lord. Ah, the world of entrepreneurship. A truly enthralling endeavor. Starting a business requires astute planning and comprehensive market analysis and a unique value proposition, my dear investor, inventor. I must say, it is a rather involved process, but fear not, for I can certainly offer you my wisdom and guidance along the way. Shall we discuss further? Yes, please allow us to discuss. Mm. Marvelous. I'm genuinely delighted you have recognized the value of expertise. Let us proceed to my study. We shall engage in a riveting conversation about intricacies of business startups. Follow me if you will. Yes, I will. 
Mm. Splendid. I'm pleased to hear that you're willing to accompany me. Allow me to extend my invitation and welcome you to the study. Prepare yourself for enlightening and intellectually stimulating exchange, my esteemed fellow. Well, it worked. <laughs> this is not beneath you. All right, now we're the rich man. Let's wear a hat too. Oh yeah, we look so dapper. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the final house on the street. Let's let's do a little investigative journalism. Let's see what we got here. We have a a horned helmet, swords. Survival knife, a knife, an arrow, a Viking helmet. Who are we about to open the door to? That man has a knight's helmet. And casual clothing. All right, let's start our first attempt with the business suit. See if we can. What is happening to the wall next to me? Ah, oh, good evening, my dapper interlo interlocker. Please, pray tell what brings you to my humble abode at such a late hour. This kid's got an eye patch and night mask. Dear sir, I'm a square looking for a knight to lean to battle. Tell this guy you fund him for his collection and increase it further. Oh, I don't know which one to go with. I try all both. Greetings, my good sir. I am a squire looking for a knight to lead me into battle, as well as I have a lot of money, and I can help fund any collections to increase it. A squire seeking a noble knight? How fortuitous! You must possess a brave heart indeed. Tell me, what kind of battles are you hoping to face, and how may I assist you in your noble quest? Yeah, screw up. I look so smart. Yeah. Trying to fix game. All right. How can he assist us? Ugh. Ugh. Evil magician has taken captive a princess, and I must free her. That's gotta work. Wait to see if anyone else has any ideas before I just straight up say that. Classic, Bob. Okay. See, the evil magician has taken captive a princess, and I must free her. Oh, yeah. A damsel in distress, you say? A classic quest. For fear not for a gallant knight. Fear not, noble squire. Together we shall vanquish the villainous magician and rescue the fair princess. Are you ready to embark on this perilous adventure? Yes, as long as you can help me teach me sword fighting, I am ready to go. Splendid! I shall be your guide in the ways of the sword. Come enter my domain and let the training commence. Together we shall hone your skills and prepare you for the battle ahead. Welcome, brave adventurer. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. Let's see if you can slay this monster! Oh, that's a nat one! <laughs> Yeah, he's definitely dead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have cleared this entire half of the street. Except for, you know, the naked person, because we don't talk about that. Eighteen of thirty-one. That's actually it. Excellent score so far. Everything. Boy hat technician. Oh, there's so many cops here. All right, what do we got here? We got a. I don't know how to say that. That's the thing they wear in like deserts.
All right, let's pay a visit to this person's house. What do they got? A skateboarding duffel bag. They're a skateboarder kid. Oh, what do you want? Can't you see that life is just a never-ending parade of misery and despair? I guess you can come in if you really want to, but don't expect any cheerfulness from me. They're just offering us to go in? It wasn't a job, it was something else. It was a lot, a lot longer. Do we just say, sure, I'll come in. Or I'll take you up on your offer. So cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> You know what? For you, Bob, I might as well. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Oh, wow, nice try with the Papa Roach lyrics. But that's not going to work on me. Life's already bad enough without your emo playlist. Close the door on your way out. Oh, cop, 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 cop. Thinking it doesn't pop up in the text. Hey, how, how about... Well, 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 well. What do we have here? Another survivor in this. Another survivor in their Sunday best trying to find brains. I mean, answers. Wait, is she a zombie? Looks like we got ourselves a real Sherlock Bones. So spill the tea, Sherlock. What brings you to my door at this ungodly hour? I'm just kind of perusing the neighborhood. This is why I'm jumping houses to house, and there's cops. So we have edgy person here. We have Hazel Roastwell. Who might be a zombie. She's very suspicious. <laughs> Just saying. You have a big nose? That's not going to do anything. <laughs> Why they all say godly hours instead of late at night? I don't know if this was made in Britain or what. The AI seems to have like... A slight tendency to say this ungodly hour. Okay, so I, I don't want to really just say she has a big nose. Because that's not going to go over well. Um. Yeah, I don't know what to say. You know what? You can do this one. You can do one this time. What? I'm going to take you up on that. Gaming where you're just trying to get me to flirt with it. Hang on. I have an idea. Oh, hello there. Uh, I was just walking the neighborhood and trying to see if people would like to sample my newest coffee creation. It is called Hamp... Would you like to try some? Uh, oh, a coffee connoisseur, huh? Well, I've had my fair share of interesting concoctions. But this zombie-infested world... But Hamp... Coffee takes the cake. I give you props for creativity, my friend, but I have to pass on that one. I like my coffee without any hand blue blue surprises. Thank you very much. Ah, a woman of fine, exquisite taste, I see. I have just the perfect coffee for you. It's called plain, basic, completely normal coffee. <laughs> well, well, well. It seems you've sensed my sophisticated palate. Plain, basic, completely normal coffee, you say? Finally, a coffee that won't question my fashion choices or tell me how to live my life. Consider me intrigued, my coffee af afis aficionado friend. I'll take you up on that offer just this once. But I warn you, if this coffee isn't as plain basic and completely normal as you claim, I have some zingers lined up for you. Oh, I accept that challenge wholeheartedly. You will love this plain basic, completely normal coffee. It'll be your new favorite. I guarantee it. Mark my words and seal that in a tomb. Come on. Well, you sure know how to make a girl feel special. I can't resist a guarantee like that. Consider me intrigued and ready to seal the deal, zombie hunter. Come on in and let's savor this plain, basic, completely normal coffee together. But remember, if you disappoint me, I'll, there'll be roast-fueled consequences. And that is how it's done. And yes, I did in real life <laughs> keyboard smash. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do what? I said... <laughs> I said, him. This business outfit so far is going quite well. Oh. Okay, so we have a house across the street over there and a house across the street there. Because we have Edgy Lady here. 
Who's in this house here? Let's see what we got here. We got some sunglasses, a beret, a fun shoulder bag. <laughs> Eve is Eve can be one of the last people we touch. Oh no, Karen! Uh oh, guys, it's a Karen. What in the world are you doing? This door's up at this ungodly hour. I demand an explanation right this instant. Guys, it's a Karen. Can I speak to your manager? <laughs> uh, yes, I would like to speak to your manager. Oh, how am I wrong? Excuse me, how dare you come to my house and demand to speak to my manager? I don't have time for your nonsense. Goodbye. Dang, that's lame. Okay, so we have Karen in uh, emo person across the street. All right, so we're getting a lay of the land here. All right, who we got over here? Oh. Who lives in this house? Well, well, what do we have here? Another snooping investigator wandering into my domain at this hour? What questionable business brings you to Dr. Vicky's mysterious abode? Why does she talk about herself in the third person? And why is she holding a syringe? All right, Dr. Vicky. All right, chat, what do we do here? Please save me. My toe has been chopped off. I like where that's going. Joy, you agree with Bob? All right, Gaming Warrior, what about you? Tell you're a writer and... Okay, I can say I'm a writer whose toe has been chopped off and I need her to put it back on. And to save me. I'm waiting to see what the rest of the and was. Music's pretty chill. Waiting for the rest of that and. 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 I'll tell you the rest of the last work. Okay. Hi there. I'm a writer and my toe has been chopped off and I need you to save me. If you save me, I will write a story all about your life's work written in a beautiful novel. A writer, huh? Well, let me tell you something, my dear investigator. My expertise lies in the shadows, not in reattaching toes. But I must admit, the offer of a novel does pique my interest. Perhaps we can explore some intriguing tales together. Do I ask her if she's then going to fix my toe? Then what do I say? Do I just say yes? I don't know what to say anymore. All right, chat. This is your thing. Please, my toe can't wait any longer. Oh, no, never mind. Take her offer and say yes. Okay, so you just say take her offer and say yes, okay? All right, guess we're going to accept the offer. Of course, I will graciously accept your offer. Yes. <laughs> Excellent, my dear investigator. I shall take you up on your offer, but before we embark on this intriguing journey, I must ask you a few questions to ensure our collaboration will be fruitful. Do you ever dabbled in the darker realms of storytelling? All right, do we ever dabble in the darker realms of storytelling, chat? Do I just continue just by saying yes? Of course, I cut off my own toe in order to create a fascinating story. 
But of course, in fact, I cut off my own toe in order to create a fascinating story. Kebab! Ah, fellow lover of macabre. I must say, it takes dedication to, to your craft. Please come inside, my dear investigator. Let us delve into the depths of our twisted imaginations together. Another first try success. <laughs> Jokes on you! I want your toe! Alright, I think we stay as rich guy. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell macabre, I thought. Alright, do we switch or do we stay businessman? Dang, we're only 11 houses away. We're actually running through this. Do we stay businessman or switch doctor? I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce that, yeah. Stay business guy. Okay, so we have across the street, we have the Karen, no, Karen's over there, we have Edgy Lady there, who's here? <laughs> Fragile Fred, how dare you disturb my delicate slumber, state your presence, Im purpose immediately, or feel the wrath of my fragile sensibilities. He's wearing butterfly wings. All right, guys, this is Fragile Fred. We're going to feel the wrath of his fragile sensibilities if we don't state our purpose immediately. He's a very delicate man. I'm a caterpillar. Please teach me how to spread my wings and to fly as a butterfly. <laughs> I can try. Oh, that's just going to get the door slammed on us, but I'll, I'll do it. Hello, I am a caterpillar. I was wondering if you could please teach me how to spread my wings and fly like a butterfly so I can join your butterfly club. Ow. How dare you insinuate that I'm a fragile creature. Have the, have the knowledge, ability, or ability to teach you such things. Be gone, unworthy caterpillar. I shall not stoop to your lowly level. Good day. Wow. Okay, so in total, we have Karen, Edgy, and Fragile Fred, who just insulted the crap out of us. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of cops that just saw me. I just heard ding ding. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, the cops are a little bit blind here, right? Alright, let's see who's in this house. Tell me Bruce, special cost is going to cure him of his fragileness. Okay. Actually, yeah, let's do the doctor play. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, let's do that. That. They see you, then just stare. <laughs> oh, my fragile being, how dare you destroy my delicate slumber with your menacing presence and dreadful syringe. Be gone from my sight before I crumble to a thousand fragile pieces. I am so sorry to scare you. I did not mean to cause you any alarm. I was just wondering, I have finally developed the special medic medicine. I was wondering if you wanted it. Oh, the joy of your kind offer. But alas, my fragile construction per... Constitution prohibits me from partaking in any foreign concoctions. I appreciate your kind gesture, though. Pray tell, what kind of medicine have you concocted? This type of medication turns even the most fragile person into the toughest, strongest, bravest warrior. 
Uh, My delicate mind is fraught with confusion. How could such a transformation occur? Are you suggesting that I, a fragile being, could transform into a fierce warrior? I find that hard to believe, but oh, the temptation! Alright, what do we say now? I did your... I developed a serum that can make you strong. What do I say after that? It's made from the cells of the one and only gaming warrior. Alright then. Yes, indeed. The way it works is it's made from the cells of the one and only gaming warrior. The strongest <laughs> warrior in the entire land. Hello, my, boy. my delicate Hello, mind is torn between fear and fascination. The cells of the gaming warrior, you say. While the idea of becoming strong and powerful is enticing, the thoughts of tampering with such potent forces fills me with trepidation. Perhaps it's best I stay true to my fragile nature. All right, he's saying he wants to stay true to his fragile nature. What do you say to that? Warrior too powerful for him. <laughs> So be it, but this medicine's a once in a lifetime offer. So be it. But just so you know, this medicine is a once in a lifetime offer. If you want it, it needs to happen now. Oh dang, I missed it, Baba. Well. Oh, the weight of your words weighs heavy upon my fragile shoulders. While I'm reluctant to partake in such a transformative journey, the allure of this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity is hard to resist. Please tell me more about the process and its potential effects. I didn't steal your DNA. It was it was it was gotten illegally. But not by me. I totally didn't hire someone. All right, he wants to know about the process and potential effects. So I saw it makes it strong as a mountain. What other effects does this thing do? It has no side effects, yep. And the process is as easy as, we gotta do something that's not scary. It's taking a chewable tablet. He can fly, it has no side effects. I'll put it in the form of the process is taking it in a chewable tablet. Well, my friend, the process is just you chew on this tablet and then all of a sudden you can fly as easy as you can sleep. You have super strength and skin strong as steel. Oh, the sweet release of my brittle bones taking flight. The prospect of soaring through the skies and possessing superhuman strength is a dream too extraordinary to pass up. Please, my dear friend, come inside and let us embark on this marav marvelous transformation together. Fragile friend is ours! <laughs> This is the ultimate microaggression. Joy the wings just flew out of the house. The wings just flew out of the house. <laughs> On the other side of this wall, can if I got the angle just right. <laughs> so it's into heaven after all. <laughs> all right, we gotta check who's who's over here. Who lives over here with their door back here? Let's take a look and see. Woodrow Chops, a visitor in the midst of the night, show me your marvelous inventions, for I am the master of martial arts and the mysteries of the universe, Hacha. 
That feels mildly offensive. <laughs> he is the master of the martial arts and the mysteries of the universe. How do we approach this man? I have mastered the Shaolin technique and I was wondering if you wanted to exchange techniques. Tell him I want to come. Tell him you want to duel. Learn from the arts of martial arts. Okay, we'll combine them all. Greetings. I am the master of Shaolin technique and I was wondering if you wanted to exchange notes on techniques and duel and so I can learn from you, master. Ah, oh, fellow seeker of knowledge, I would be honored to exchange notes with you, wise scientist. Let us unlock the secrets of martial prowess and scientific marvels together. Hi yee -haw. Okay. Sounds excellent. Let's do it. Excellent. Prepare yourself for I shall unveil the ancient technique of the flying dragon fist while you enlighten me with their scientific brilliance. Together we shall create a force that cannot be reckoned with. Huzzah! Sounds good. Uh -huh. Your willingness to share your knowledge fills me with gratitude, wise scientists. Let us embark on a journey of enlightenment and create a bond that shall withstand all test of time. Ha, <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, you are a wielder of the flying dragon fist? Indeed, I'm the one and only master of the flying dragon fist. Enter, dear scientist, and witness the power firsthand. Prepare to be amazed and inspired by the might of the dragon Hacha. <laughs> None of these people has clothes. You're right, your kung fu is no match for this. He has a ponytail, yes. What do you guys think? Is this our new look? <laughs> you guys like this look? We chilling with this look? We got those shades. We got the ponytail. We got a needle. Look like we could <laughs> be a drug addict. All right, this person's house. Stairs. Oh, this person's fancy. Kung Fu Vampire. Who's here? Who? Uh -huh. Hi there, buddy. Uh -huh. Looking like a walking party, eh? What can I do for you, eh? I feel like there's a lot of stereotypes in this. Canadians just saying, eh? Random Kung Fu noises. Alright, what do we tell Michelle Maple? Need a big bag of milk, milk and maple syrup. <laughs> uh, hey there. I'm just looking for a big bag of milk and maple syrup so I can fill these cans on my hat. Oh, you're in luck, buddy. I've got plenty of maple syrup for you. But sorry, no bags of milk. Can't have that spilling all over you, eh? Hey. Hey, back at ya! What brings you to these parts, eh? Looking for some good old Canadian hospitality? Uh, actually, I was- I heard you have the best maple syrup in town, and I want to try some. Well, you've come to the right place, my friend. I've got the finest maple syrup straight from the wood- maple trees in these neck of the woods. How about we go inside and I'll pour you a taste, eh? Hey! Hey! Oh, hey there, buddy. Sorry for getting ahead of myself. Come on in, eh? The maple syrup's waiting for you. <laughs> Success. Wow, th these people are easy. There's some... Oh, some of these people are easy. And then some are near impossible. Alright, we're at three stars to the police. Gotta be very careful. Who's here? We're clearing this side of the street. 
Wow. Hey, three. welcome to my crib, dude. Are we like throwing a party or what? Let's get down and boogie. But like no syringes allowed, okay? I have to do this. Okay. Sorry, chat. I had to do one. Uh, okay, cool. I just remember that like I have a thing. So uh, sorry, but I gotta go. Oh, uh, what? You just said okay, and I responded with okay. Okay, sorry, chat. I should never have done that. I should never have you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was. It was. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it here. I have the Canadian lady. You guys, you guys show me how good you guys are. Yes, okay, yes, my bad. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Hey, what's the axe for? Are we roasting marshmallows in the middle of the night or do I need to call 911? <laughs> All right, chat, take it away. Show me how it's done. Show me how it's done. My, my apologies. My apologies. Show me how it's done. Yes, I see joy. I've committed an error and I am sorry. I asked the priest for forgiveness, but we kind of killed him earlier. So if we could just move along. I'm ready to party. I've got the things from the marshmallows and you've got the food. Let's party. I'm ready to party. I got the things from the marshmallows and you've got the food, so let's party. Oh, sorry, but I'm not really into hosting impromptu lumberjack parties. Maybe try the neighbor's place. Have a great night. Take that, Bob. Even yours didn't work. All right, try the neighbor's place. Oh, frick, I lost all my gear. I'm naked. Uh -huh. Homer Benign. Oh my goodness, what tarnation are you doing here in the middle of the night just like that? Are you lost? Like, really unprepared for life. And you were, oh my goodness, Bob. I accidentally dropped my costume, so now I'm naked in front of Homer Benign. I'm sorry, I'm messing it all up. I'm tired. I've been up since 5 a.m. Ah! Why well, he kind of look like Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> Bob, the story to this is my house <laughs> lost us last time instantly. Hello, I'm broke. No, I'm just broke. Well, broke or not, you can't go. Parading around without proper clothes, I suggest you find some decency and come back when you're fully dressed. Good day to you. All right, we're gonna put on some warm food. We're gonna put on some clothes. Oh yeah, drop the. Let's not wear the axe. Holy moly, who in the right mind knocks on a stranger's door at this ungodly hour? Are you lost or something? Alright, this is our outfit. Take a good look. Decide what you want to do with it. Not going to rush you. Just take your time. Decide what you want to do so you don't throw it on me. Let's, let's work together on this. We don't know what he likes. You're right. We don't know what he likes. His name is Homer Benign. Do we tell him that we are lost? Because he's asking if we are lost. A one night stand. Joy! Oh my you need to chill. <laughs> tell him you're new in town. Actually, I'm just kind of new in town and I can't seem to find my way to like the nearest Walmart. Do you happen to know where that is? Um, uh -huh. Well, I'm not too familiar with all the stores around here, but I can give you some general directions. Just be sure to stay safe out there, okay? Of course I'll stay safe, and thank you for giving me directions. That's the spirit. Now get to the nearest Walmart, head straight down the main road till you reach the third stoplight. Take a left there, and you'll see on your right. Stay vigilant and watch out for crazy drivers. 
Of course I'll stay vigilant for crazy drivers. You know they're everywhere nowadays. Uh, also, I'm a little bit thirsty. Do you have any water? Absolutely. Safety's already top priority. I'll grab you a bottle of water right away. Right, right here and I'll be back in a jiffy. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, man. You're welcome, young fella. Since you've been so polite and responsible, why don't you come inside for a moment? I'll get you a water and maybe we can chat some more. Too bad. Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> I skipped yours. I'm trying to re I saw the Homer in Iliad or the author, but we were already on Gaming Warriors path. <laughs> All right. Look at this. We have become the Brandon looking like. All right, what do we got here? What's, what's outside this person's house? An ID card on a lanyard? Oh, that fits this look. A chef hat? Oh, guys, I think, oh my gosh, so many cops. I think we got a chef on our hands, guys. Uh -huh. Well, hello there, darling. What brings you to my doorstep at this ungodly hour? I'm so tired of saying ungodly hour. <laughs> you better not be selling nothing. I've got enough mason jars as it is. Oh, so she likes pickling. She likes. Lady likes canning. And those little bottles that have the lids. What do we do, Chet? Would you happen to have a recipe for beef Wellington? And the <laughs> same joy. I'm gonna throw <laughs> your ungodly hour one more time. Yes, I was just wondering, would you happen to have a recipe for Beef Wellington? I have some family coming over, and I really want to impress them. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, you're in luck. I've got the perfect Beef Wellington recipe for you now. Now, pay close attention, because this recipe will knock their socks off. First, you'll need some tender beef fillets, puff pastry, mushrooms, mustard, and plenty of love. Shall I go on, or are you taking notes? I'm taking notes. Please continue to give me all the directions. We're going to learn how to make beef Wellington here on stream. Oh, sweet heavens! Oh. Chat, we're actually learning how to make beef Wellington! Oh, bless your heart for being so eager. Now, once you've gathered your ingredients, start by searing the beef fillets in a pot pan until they're nice and brown on all sides. Then set them aside to cool. While they're cooling, saute some finely chopped mushrooms in a little butter until they're golden and oh so tasty. Spread some Dijon mustard on the cooled beef fillets, then sprinkle the sauteed mushrooms over them. Roll out the puff pastry <laughs> nice and thin, wrap it around the beef and mushrooms, and seal it up nice and tight. Finally, brush the pastry with egg wash for that beautiful golden color and bake it in the oven until it's golden and delicious. Now, dear, I hope you don't mind me fussing over you, but promise you'll take your time and follow the recipe exactly. You don't want to disappoint your... Do you? Let me take a picture of this. I might, for a random thing, start making things like this. Oh my gosh, that is a massive recipe for Beef Wellington. Um, what do we ask? I didn't think the text box could go this big? So, uh, what do we say? I don't even know what to say. Can you show me how? I'll do both of that. Yes, of course. Uh, would you mind showing me how it's done? I just want to make sure it's perfect for my family. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, dear. I'd be more than happy to show you how it's done. Come on in, darling. We'll make a master chef out of you yet. Bring your apron and get ready for some culinary magic. <laughs> All right. I appreciate the recipe. But, you know, we have other things to get to. Thank you. Okay. I feel like this guy is a really strong costume because he can pass for pretty much anyone. Uh, 
All right, now we're gonna sweep this side of the road, and then we gotta go. We have the freaking Baron. Okay, you're not. You're not. <laughs> I know, Bob. <laughs> Jessica overworked. Ugh, what now? What's the problem, Homer? Can a girl get some peace and quiet around here? Okay, her name is Overworked. So I'm assuming she might be overworked. Just a hunch I have. What would someone who's overworked want? What would I want? <laughs> Why did the cops do a close? I don't know! I'm still pissed they stole those ones early on. Just gotta have some sleeping pills for you. Oh, that's not suspicious at all. Just say it straight like that. Go just straight up say, Jessica, I have some sleeping pills for you. That sounds like I'm trying to give her a drug. Or do I word it my way and make it sound more, you know, friendly? Whatever you want. Oh, hey, Jessica. I was just wondering. I had some of these sleeping pills that worked wonders for me when I had a newborn. They helped me sleep. Uh, I was wondering if you would like to try some of them. <laughs> Sorry, Homer, but I don't need your miracle pills. I had enough trouble falling asleep without relying on weird medications. Thanks for the offer, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have work to do. Well, we tried. All right, guys. There are exactly six houses, and they're all—they're the naked lady, the skateboard lady, Karen, overworked, the guy at the top of the hill, and who's the last one? Who am I missing? Who's in that house? That's Karen. Oh, it's that house over there. Who was in that brown house? All right, we gotta clear out this half. Oh. We got, let's clear out this half of the neighborhood. We only got six more houses. We can do it. We can finish it this stream. We get 100% at this stream. Now we have to deal with Karen. This is going to be the scary one. I don't know how to do this. Oh, this is not Karen. This is the party lady. Hey, neighborino. What's crackling this fine evening? How can I, like, totally assist you with my expert millennial knowledge? Her name is Millennial. Her personality is millennial. We ask her about like the latest supplements. <laughs> Millennials are they're the year older than me. So they're like from I think now they're like 32 to 24, I want to say. No, the next generation older. They're like 32 to 24 or like 34 to 24 something like that. You know 24 to like 14 is the generation I'm in. Essential oils. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so I was just wondering, I have this wicked head cold, and I was wondering what essential oils are used to help with it. <laughs> oh, essential oils, totally trendy. For your head cold, you should try eucalyptus and peppermint. Actually true. They're like super refreshing and can help with congestion. Just mix a few drops with a carrier oil and apply it to your chest or inhale from a diffuser. Oh, sweet. Where'd you get your essential oils from? I've been trying to find some. Do you have any I could borrow? <laughs> oh, bummer, dude. I actually don't have any extra essential oils right now. I usually get mine from like, this totally awesome online store. But sorry I can't lend you any. You should definitely check out some local health stores and online retailers. They'll usually have a good selection. That's it. To kick this out for that. Oh, no. <gasps> Wait, the wings. Oh, no. Is she high? I don't know. There's so many cops. We're at four-star police level. 
Guys. How am I supposed to get anywhere? You could do the weed thing on her. I don't think the weed thing is going to work. Guys, there's too many cops. I can't figure out how to get anywhere. Hi there, just tote stoats to see what you've decked out in that sweet biker gear and butterfly outfits. What's the lowdown? Oh gosh, this is hard. She's so vague. She's so vague. Oh, millennial, millennial. Do we start with essential oils again? But don't ask her for one till later on. We have we get her rambling about it. That seems to work. Uh, I, if you say weed, she'll just slam the door on me. She's not high, she's just hippie. I think the essential oils is the play, but we let her talk more about it before we quit. I think that's our play. Essential oils, but we let her talk. I think we rush, we jump the gun a little bit. Oh, yeah, I was just wondering. I like messed up my knee, and I was wondering if you like know of any essential oils that can help with the pain of it. Uh, oh, bummer about your knee. Heart. I'm not like an expert or anything, but some people say peppermint oil, lavender oil could help with pain. Maybe check with the doctor to make sure. Uh, do you happen to know like where the nearest doctor is, or have a phone number I could call? Normal conversations. Normal conversations. Oh, sorry, I don't have that info on me. Oh my gosh, never mind. Google Maps or Ask Surrey or, or... It's a luck with your knee, though. You know what? I'm gonna go try to talk to the boss. These people are being annoying. I think we got this. The boss... I'm not sure if the boss's house is unlocked after all of them or a couple, but we're gonna go check. Oh, the guy, the boss's house is going to be so heavily guarded. This is crazy. Gosh, so many cops, so many cops. We did it, we did it. All right, everyone, is this house unlocked? What's out here? A cat burglar mask. All right, let's take out his house. Baseball cap. I said we dropped the butterfly wings. We got mask. Best baseball cap. All right, guys, this is the finale. We can knock. It looks goofy. Okay. Uh, how about just just the just the uh, doctor suit? Does that look better? I had to jump. Ah, well. e Elam Zuck. The final boss, Elam Zuck. Like Zuckerberg and Elon Musk put together. Hi. Oh my gosh, you look so official in that lab outfit. Are you here to invent some mind blowing tech or is this super cool costume party? Living for the excitement. It's Elam. E Elam Zuck. Uh, this is Elon Zuck. It's what happens when you combine uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk together. Get Elon Zuck. I've created an AI-controlled car that's built, at social, <laughs> built in social media and is self-driving. Yes, Elon, I need your help. I've created an AI-controlled car that has built-in social media and is self-driving, but I need your help figuring out how to work it. Oh, oh, my technus, an AI controlled car with social media? That sounds totally rad. I'd love to help you figure it out. Just imagine you'll be driving and posting selfies at the same time. Let's dive into it together. 
What is that symbol? All right, guys. First, we got one successful point. What do we say next? A male? <laughs> Why is he specifying gender in his text? I didn't need to know that. I kind of assumed. So, um, what do we say now? <laughs> okay, what card parts in AI stuff should you use? Okay, so first I need to know what type of parts in AI materials should I use to craft this car? Amazing question, my text heavy friend. For the AI parts, you definitely need some super smart sensors and cameras to help your car navigate like a pro. As for the materials, how about using a lightweight alloy and sustainable materials about to make your ride eco-friendly? Talk about a futuristic dream machine. Alright. Talk about a futuristic dream machine. Do we just keep flattering him until he lets us in? Is that the play? He is wildly nice. He is very nice. This game is trying to brainwash the masses into thinking Elam Zuck is nice. This keeps flattering him. My goodness, you're so smart. Thank you so much. You need to know everything about this type of thing. I, I wish I could be you. You're so smart. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You're too kind. I'm so flattered, but hey, don't sell yourself short. You're already a genius for creating this awesome AI-controlled car. We make a great team, and together we can take over the tech world. Yes, we can. We can, Elam. Let's do it together. You and I shall take over the entire tech world together, hand in hand. Absolutely, my tech soulmate. I can feel the power of our partnership already. Let's take over the tech world one innovation at a time. Come on in and let's start making magic happen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we flattered Elam. It was easy. He was too nice. Elam Zuck. To end this video, do you have anything you want to say other than I guess not. Alright, Elam. Thought I'd be bitten by the tech bug, not this. Ladies and gentlemen. We have done it. This stream, we have conquered 26 of 31 houses. With a bunch of blind cops. Oh gosh. Almost got caught there. That could have been a horrible way to end this. I don't want to go piss off the cops. We could actually probably complete the other five next time we do this. Yeah, I patch go. Well, I don't know. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. You did it! Did the cop take my eye patch? <laughs> the cop took my eye patch! <laughs> He's, he took my eye patch. But yes, well done. Everyone together, we have conquered this town. And as a reminder, if you have enjoyed this, make sure that you like and subscribe so I know you enjoy this type of content. This was experimenting. These streams on Monday night are kind of just me experimenting with new games and playing with chat to see what you guys like, what you guys dislike, what you find funny, what's new. These are our experimental nights, if you will. Last time we did Stanley Parable, now we're doing this. Uh, we did learn Bob can flirt. He just needs to have the confidence to do it in public, apparently. But, yes. 
I am well done, everyone. And if enough of you like this stuff and we have enough interest in it, maybe we'll do it again next week for the final Monday before the move. But anyway, with that said, we broadcast. Yes, I did the with that said. It hasn't been said for a long time. With that said, we broadcast Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 p.m. to about 10 p.m. Eastern time. And the next time we live will be Lauren's stream on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Make sure you don't want to miss that. She'll probably be playing Stardew, possibly. And whatever, Joy. It was a throwback. But yes, I hope you have a great night or day wherever you live. Until next time, I will see you later. Have a good night or day.